tonight is May the 3rd, 2016. And while some of you may say, why'd you do that? I did it for the beauty. Uh, this is an amplifier that I've shown a couple of times on YouTube and it, uh, it's an old Collins 30K1 made in 1947. It was an old AM transmitter. And in 1983, I converted it to a 4CX1000 amp. But before that, I had a pair of 4-400s in it, 4-250s, whatever you want to play with. And I changed it back tonight after 33 years. I actually still had the same chassis. I had to uh, reconstruct some components on it, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is a whole lot prettier than a 4CX1000 in my opinion. Now I've still got the 4CX1000 amp. I haven't harmed it in any way. I didn't have to take a single part off of it. But, um, and the 4CX1000 amp part is just incredibly strong. It'll do a pull 1800 plus watts to the antenna. This will only do about 1200. Oh well. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, that's all it'll do. But uh, it's, 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 it was just too beautiful. I had to go back to it. That's it right there. Now, this uh, meter up here, I know this swamps it. It'll figure it out in a minute. This is the uh, grid, which is not used really. And this is this is actually the grid and the plate. So I'm not using that one right now. But uh, there it is. I had to show that. that. I did it for the beauty. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, well, I, I tell you what, let me key it up. Uh, I got it onto a dummy load. Let's see. Let me make sure I do. Yeah, see, I raised the voltage a little bit, too. It's about uh, 3,600. I said, why not? It'll, they'll start to turn a little bit red here in a minute. Let's load it up. Um, start driving it. Maybe one of you can see the, the red starting to come up in the plates. These are PL... 175s. I've got a really crazy story i got to tell you about these tubes. I got these things a long, long time ago, and I plugged them into my 4-400 amp, this very amp right here, and they didn't work. So I labeled them as bad. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want some unscrupulous tube trader to get them and sell them. I actually etched it into the uh, metal. Well, just recently I got to reading about those guys and it says you got to make sure that you ground the ring the metal ring right there because that's the uh, third grid these are actually pentodes they're not tetrodes and you know what see it's got a little finger stock over there if you can see like about right there that grounds it and and I'll, I have always used it but apparently I did not have that on at the time that I tested these things somewhere between 35 and 40 years ago. Well, anyway, there it is right there. It runs at only 600 mils. I can only get uh, 1,250 watts out of it. Only 1,250 watts. Isn't that beautiful? I'll tell you what I have discovered. I have discovered that this little 30L1 right here, which will do as much as 750 watts to the antenna, uh, depending on what my line voltage is, and the 4CX1000 will do more than twice that much, but nobody could ever hear the difference. There it is. Yeah, see, it's still holding there at 1250. Yeah, it's no joke. Of course, that gets my antenna. I mean, and here's my LED watt meter. The 1125 is, is lit. I actually like that little thing. Oh, I don't know if, if I showed this or not, but this is a uh, Drake W4 case. The last time you saw this, it wasn't as nice as this. This is back uh, the way it was uh, a long time ago when I first built it. 
and uh, it, it's really pretty dandy. I like it a lot. It, it lets me know that things are working. Anyway, there it is. Short video. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy the beauty of it all.